Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with MasterCode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the rfind string method. What the rfind string method does is it takes a substring that's passed as an argument and finds the highest occurrence of that substring in the string it's being passed on. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example of all this. So what we're going to do is um, create a string. A will represent this string. And we're going to use uh, Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S 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 -I just like that. And we're going to say a.rfind, and we want to find is. All right. So we'll go ahead and hit return, and notice we are returned four. All right. So it indicates to us the starting position of the string being passed as an argument starts at the fourth index. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so i starts at the fourth index position. So that's what it returned to us. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at an example. If uh, if the argument is not found, what happens? A dot r find, oops, find, find. Whoa, I can't type today. Uh, we'll do i z, all right. Hit return, and we get returned at negative 1, because iz is not located in Mississippi unless you spe spell it the way I do. All right, um, let's take a look at another example. We can also uh, pass two optional arguments, the start and stop index locations in the rfind string method. So let's take a look at that. a.rfind, like this, and we'll go ahead and say uh, find i, and we're going to say start the fifth index position and end on the ninth but remember we're not technically learn uh, ending on the ninth we're ending on the eighth index position so let's go ahead and hit return and we get return seven which i is that let's go ahead and take a look zero one two three four five six seven right here all right so that is the rfind string method in python if you have any questions head over to mastercode.online otherwise we'll see you in the next tutorial